We don't need to give you a 20-minute spiel as to why bullying is a problem. You know it, I know it, it's obvious. Statistics show one in four children will be bullied growing up, and that's one in four too many. We chose this topic because it's important to us, and at first we were planning on focusing on the topic of name-calling, but during our interviews and research gathering, we ended up changing our topic, but we'll get to that in a bit. The first step to our process was cr creating a set of questions that we sent to various faculty members of the district. We received replies from two counselors from Mission. Our questions comprised of what happens when a student is caught bullying another student verbally, physically, or online. To which they replied, it depends on the situation. Various consequences include mediation, parent notification, lunch detentions, ISS, OSS, and in extreme cases, police intervention, and no contact contracts. Do you have any assemblies on bullying school-wide or in the classroom? If so, how often and what do they consist of? They replied telling us that they do indeed hold assemblies and in-class activities. How often do students claim they are being bullied when it is really just a fight between friends or classmates? We were surprised to hear it's very often, and in reality it is only a student being rude or mean. And is there anything else you would like to add? And it was because of an answer to this question that we ended up changing the main focus of our project. One of the counselors said that people should be informed about the differences between someone being rude, mean, or a bully. And we offered to help do that. This is our brochure. It was created to act as a guide to help inform people about the differences between the three things. Our first panel consists of the differences between being mean, rude, and bullying provided by the Huffington Post. Our second panel describes the different types of bullying, cyber, verbal, and physical. Our third panel discusses the common misconceptions about bullying. Our last panel consists of things you or a friend can do if you're being bullied. We sent it to Mission and they were happy to accept it and use it in their school. Look at it. Much of what we knew about bullying was changed through this project and our research. It was interesting to learn about how many cases of reported bullying are actually not such, and that students are quick to report any fight or offense as bullying. We went into this project thinking it wasn't going to be too bad, but thanks to time and schedule constraints and a lack of responses, the project was more challenging. Overall, we felt as though our project went well. Everything, for the most part, went smoothly, and the end result was satisfying. 